February 12th, 2017. ICW's largest ever Fight Club taping. James Storm, he leaves the ring. The room drops to black. When those lights come back up, on one side, we have the oddity, BT gun. On the other, the necromancer, Mikey Whiplash. But you see, that is not the start of the story, no. And that's what I'm here to do today. I'm going to give you people a little trip down memory lane. I'm going to take you back to the beginning. And funnily enough, this story starts at Baromania. The very first Baromania. Where, in kind of ironic fashion, at the end of my match, the lights, they drop to black. And when they come back up, guess who appears? He's in the zombie maker, Lewis Garvin, might very well be brain dead now. Oh, it's another one of these messages, Sean. We did mention the fractions before. So just show yourselves. Has Lewis Garvin set this up? We have no idea what's going on with this rubbish. You think this has been going the whole time? Who knows who it is, Sean? Who knows who it is? Figure coming down there. The some figure walking down the Who is that? Is someone in the ring? I see him as well coming up behind really don't recognize. Who is that? I, I, I honestly can't see that there's just a figure in the ring. I'm looking at Alan, do you know what the hell's going on? Sorry, I'll tell you. Who is that? Do you reckon? Who the hell's that? Oh my god, Sean, is that... Is that a Oh! Lewis Garvin's got it! One, two! Well, yeah, he got him! Ladies and gentlemen, he is your oh. Lewis Garvin! What the hell's okay. going on, Sean? Well, there you go, that keeps Lewis Garvin I know who that is! I know who that is! He's got to take off the mat. Oh. It's BT Gun! I don't know what to say. He spat some type of substance. He's covered in blood with that, that mass that looked like human flesh formed into some type of face. Almost like something of Ed Gein. What the hell's going on, Sean? Lewis Garvin used the distraction. He got a win over. And now... And then, and I don't think that PT Gun is finished. No, he's not. I understand. The lights are up. But I understand Red Lightning's backstage is calling for security. Oh! I think the lights might be off the lip, they just keep, oh wait, there they are. I think there's a little bit of a dilemma, oh. can we show this or not, because... I don't think Mikey Whitlash is even aware of what's going on. He's got... At least he has that stuff. There's a bag in the room. What the hell is that? Sure, what the hell is that? That's cable ties. That's cable ties. Well, what's this is definitely going to have nowhere to go after that? BT gun was, has always been a little unhoused in the past, but this isn't the BT gun we remember, Sean. Well, the BT gun we remember in January lost to, to Wolfgang. Last time we saw him, he looked like he was being hung. Look at like his hands are covered in... Is that blood? That's blood. Oh! And he's just punishing. Making my at the moment. What the hell is... Why? We don't get it. Oh, we kick him. There's nothing but last could do. He's a one-armed man in a two-armed contest. Oh no, but he's actually the other arm. I understand Thomas Cairns is a ringside extra security. Red Lightning's backstage, I understand he's ten. He is calling, he is actually calling extra security to the ring. We're trying to pull people in from the other side of the building. Where did, where did BT Gun even come from? Fans don't even know what to think. This is a new BT Gun. 
The poison prince of pain. Look at that. Oh, God. He, the cane is... He split it, ladies and gentlemen. And trust me, that makes it that even wire. more... Is that barbed wire? Barbed wire. Are you going to be okay? I'll, I'll be okay. But don't ask me if I'll be okay. Right now, Mikey Whitlash has nowhere to go. Looks like he's almost trying to cave in the skull. Oh, my goodness. This is... I'll come and see it. It's like a crucifixion of Mikey Whiplash. In retrospect, that moment, I needed that moment. See, most people, they wander through life aimlessly from birth to death. There's a Chinese proverb and it goes along the lines of there are people in this world that are attached by a little red string and throughout their lives they might cross paths just missing one another but eventually that red string it pulls tight and these people come face to face and they realize they have met their soulmate see that's kind of the same thing with me and BT Gun. See, when I looked across that ring and I saw him before he hit me in the face with that boot, I realized I'd found something. And when you find something, you never want to let it go. See, I've had that throughout my career. I've had things and I've let them slip through my fingers. Whether it's relationships, friendships, championships. I let these things go. And I wasn't about to let this go. See, he took an opportunity away from me. So I reciprocated. But like any good Bible story, this is no different. It was an eye for an eye. What I did to him, he did back to me. And what he did to me, I did back to him. And on and on. The animosity and the tension builds. So finally, finally we have that first meeting. That one-on-one. -on -one. London. Me and BT gone. We were gonna finish what he started. That didn't happen. No. Just took another step. Up. And up. And up. Mikey Whitlash, we're, we're getting our feet here on our okay. monitor, Joe. They're battling. They're battling in the middle of Coco. This match was not scheduled to start, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting word that this... Finally, Mikey Whitlash was able to find a way to get to BT Gun. And they just, the locker room just cleared. These guys have come brawling their way into Coco, ladies and gentlemen. And I, I, I would I would rather they did not come this way. They Look are. at you, you hipster arsehole. Get out of the fucking way. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? Oh. Wow. He actually looked like he was going to try and do that reverse back elbow onto Mikey Whiplash. We just pushed him straight to the crowd. Where's Whiplash? And this is the thing with ICW, it's so unpredictable. The action is what? not going to stay in the ring. What's Whiplash two. doing? Oh, oh my, God! my God! Throwing himself like a human missile. This will be their first meeting here in ICW. Those meaty forearms to the face there. We already saw the first meeting. Oh, oh, look at that, that snap. Right Turning to the knee there. there. Now, Mikey has a history of injuries to that knee, to that leg, which he has rehabbed many times. But he's really hobbling around the he's ring hurt. there. Sir, as a competitor, you don't want to show weakness to your opponent, but with a manoeuvre like oh. that's impossible. A kick there, right to the gut. A BT gun. Uh oh, and another. And the thing is, every one of those kicks is going to take something out of Mikey Whiplash as well now. Oh! oh. And that is the injured leg, ladies and gentlemen. And Mikey Whiplash, a well-traveled competitor, has wrestled all around Europe, 
all around the world in South Africa. A former ICW heavyweight champion is a battle of former champions. We've had a lot of firsts tonight. We've already seen the first encounter in England of Chris Renfrew, the New Age Click stablemate of BT Gun versus Lionheart. And now we're seeing a first ever, the former champions. And the New Age Click is just looking stronger than ever right now. With the dominance from Chris Renfrew, from BT Gun, and the addition of Wolf. Oh my, oh my God! A missile drop kick. Well, we're not exaggerating when we say that Mikey Whiplash very oh nearly God. lost his life to a barrier in a very. We need to get. Oh, I, let's get some security to right side. We, we can't let this happen. This. You know, we, we want action and all that, but this is just too far right now. Oh, look at that, he's actually, just, oh. he's actually waking Mikey Whiplash back up. He but wants him to see this. He doesn't care about winning anymore. He, wa he wants to end Mikey Whiplash. It's like resembling something like Guantanamo Bay. He beat his man, he made his man pass out with pain, but he wants to wake him back up so he can see the sight. Oh. The device oh. is on. Oh, small package, one, two. No, Whiplash is somehow still in this. Wow! A big diving uppercut. Whiplash for his own survival. He's back to his feet. How the hell? He's actually been reawakened. This is just descending into an ugly brawl right now. The necromancer, the one that walks in the daylight. He has been reawakened. And that's what happens when you have Mikey Whiplash in a hold. You can't let that go. You can't give him a second to breathe. Let's not forget the fact that both these guys are former world champions. Oh. Whiplash has now seen the barrier. And is, is, is Mikey Whiplash one to it's inflict the same pain on BT Gun? Oh, no, no, no. This is literally right in front of us, just under the belt. Oh, this is hard to watch. Oh, I, oh no. I don't want to see anyone go through these barriers. BT Gun fighting for his own survival. Oh! Oh, oh God. <sighs> right through. BT Gun tied that him. Our bottom ring rope there actually gave way, ladies and gentlemen. Whitlash, his momentum taking him through. Oh, big standing drop kick there, right to the chest. He's following up. Oh, oh. that single arm power bomb. One, two, no! There's anticipation. Oh. Steel chair. Going for the trusty steel chair. But that's just not any steel chair. That is the New Age Click steel chair. That has the name of their victims, including his legion brethren of Tommy End and Michael Dante. There's poetic justice in the very same chair. The murder oh. weapon has been brought back to the NEK. Crushing the vertebrae. Crushing the vertebrae. The crowd are baying for blood, asking for one more time. Oh, PT Gun. What's he going for? What's he planning to do with this chair? He's sitting the chair down. You see it being mangled. And I don't think he's ready to take a seat. It's already mangled from those chair shots. Oh, oh, there's Renfrew coming to the rescue. Thomas Kells is calling, he's thrown it out, he's thrown it out. Our senior oh. referee has just seen too much. A sharp top end of the chair there in the throw, Mikey Whiplash. He's instructing Simon Ladies Cassidy. Have match and no contest. After everything we saw, the weapons coming in. And what are they doing? You know something? Using the weight of the chair to choke Mikey Whiplash. The last time we saw the New Age Click in London, oh. they tried to kill, I'll come out and say it, kill Wolfgang, and he is now within their ranks. That's someone they like. Bar a barbed wire, what is that, a crown? He's got a barbed wire steel chair, look at that. The device of pain. Mikey Whiplash, Legion are not here. Oh! oh! The other two members of the Sumerian Death Squad are not here. I think that might have blinded 
It's almost like they're trying to carve right into the, let, the, the mind. Let's just tally the damage thus far to Mikey Whitlash, okay? He's had those steel steps crush his already injured leg. He went back first through the guardrail onto the hard four and he's taken a barbed wire steel chair to the face. Now adding insult to injury, the crown of barbed wire. And look at that smile across the face of BT Gun. So after after the events in London, ICW management realized that they they needed to get that closure. And they needed to get that closure fast. Because if this carried on, someone's gonna really get hurt. That brings us to space balls. See, for most space balls was somewhere for the younger generation to get an opportunity. I see W with that desperate to get us done and dusted. They put us on a young lion show, so to speak. And in many people's eyes, this is probably the best match, the most violent match, the most disturbing match people had seen at that point. Well, there he is, the oddity. I think they're going to meet each other out, out on the floor here. I don't think they're going to wait to settle in the ring. Well, this is balls count anyway. It's, it's an eerie feeling. I was there. And Coco. They're going straight at it, Bill. They're going straight at it. It's on. It's on. Ring that bell. It's of great trepidation I ring that bell. Because I have been there to call the battles. These two have had a ringside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is falls count anywhere. If you don't understand what that means, that means this match can only end in a pinfall, which can happen anywhere within this building. It also means that anything, and I mean anything, anything. goes. And it's exactly as we thought it would be, Joe. Straight out the gates, these two just battering each other. You know, Billy, I, I totally forgot something you said. Oh! Huge chop there, huge chop from BT Gun. Anything can happen. Obviously, the NEK are in the building. But our Legion? Well, we don't know. I mean, uh, uh, Tommy and Michael Dante, they could turn up anywhere. The Illuminati assassins. They are the all and I, Billy. And they could be very well watching tonight. They certainly are. Look at that, and we're trying to get our best view, our senior cameraman, that Mai Tai guy, Adam Carell, doing our best to follow the action. And they're taking this, they're taking this through. Yeah, Billy, Gary I'm going to watch to the monitor, because this is going to be up the walls. It might be in the ring, it's going to be the steps. Hell, it might even go outside in the streets of Glasgow. Oh, I don't God. know where this is going. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen, if, if you are in, if you have been at an ICW show, trust me, stay out of the way of these gentlemen. Look at that, Mikey Whiplash. He's now up on the side of the stage here, just across from us. Oh, oh my God! He went to go, but well, it looked like a double drop. Can we going to with a cap? Oh! He's left a dent, Joe, and not a hard plastic wall. How can, can you even think about preparing for something like that, especially with the hatred that exists between these two gentlemen? Not really, because there's so there's so many elements of this. You know, it's okay to get hit by a, an elbow or or a forearm or a lariat or a knee. You can essentially bounce back from it. You're in a fight. But when you're forced against steel or metal, you know that's it's going to pierce the skin. Yeah. It's going to leave welts. It's a totally different. And this floor as well, hardwood floor, concrete underneath. This is this is designed to break backs. Oh. You slam someone on it. Look, there we go. It's left a head print. There's a head print in the stairs there. There's a brick wall. It's just this is going to be one of the most dangerous and violent matches oh, we're going to see. It looks like we're actually going. I think we're going into the toilets. I get security out of the way. They're bringing it back over the barrier. They're actually heading back towards the ring, something I thought I'd never see. I don't think they care, they're just treating this place as a battle zone. I think they view every single part of the garage here as a potential weapon. It's just something very small, Billy, but I take all this. Oh! Here we go. It's time! And he hits another one. Mikey Whiplash 
is dialing up for the virgin suicide. Oh, but he got with a gunshot. He got with a gunshot. Billy, it might be something very, very small, but it's just something that picked out. Heaty Gun took that barrier apart when he walked through. When he came through and dragged Mikey Whiplash back. Heaty Gun has been using the barriers a lot. Oh, look at that! A fan actually threw the drink in Beatty Gun's face. The Beatty Gun just climbed, just absolutely took him out. Well, you run that risk, Billy. I don't. I, I must admit, I've cut. Incur- I've discouraged fans time and time again to stop throwing drinks, or else you you will end up on your ass and you will end up with a professional fighter beating you down. Fans, if you're watching this and on demand, I can't stress: do not throw a drink. Do not throw a drink. Oh, but they've taken his eyes. BT Gun hasn't seen. We'll blast his purse. Oh my! For the sake of your livelihood, for the sake of your quality of life, just call it quits. No, but I try to speak to both men. Obviously, BT Gun is with the NEK, and I just oh no. I can never get a word in. I, I make you whip. Both their heads, are, they're just not. They're not on our, our dimension anyway. They are on a different level. I mean. Oh, look. This is BT Gun. He's been in the ring with Sabu, and he's maybe he's maybe learning from the best now. This is how to get the job done and things like this. He's just going for anything, anything he can get, get his hands on because he wants to finish Mikey Whiplash off. He wants this over. He wants him finished. Look at that pink, black, green, blue. Who is selling these fucking chairs it's to a these wrestlers? Pain. My goodness, George and Bungle. This is just been sensed. BT Gun got planned here. He saw him in his battles with Sabu. He's lining up the chairs. What? No, I, I think Mikey Whitlash is struggling to breathe. He must have hit the floor so, so hard. His, I don't know how his spinal column stand. Oh, but it's not. Was he playing possum? He's got him up. He's up. Is he trying to lock him in for the. No, he can't. Oh, throws. Big back elbow. A little bit closely. Oh, no! Big back body drop right to those chairs, and there's no give on those, ladies and gentlemen. Hell, there's, there's no sitting down and sorting this out. That's why he's the, the oddity, and that's why there's such an enigma about this match. It's just, it seems oh. to have come from nowhere. And for a double stop and miss. Oh, chair right to the face. And it rebounded off Mikey Whitlash. He said that's not good for either Ben. It's not good. You can see he's hanging on by a thread. He's hanging on to those ropes. The legs are going jelly like it's like in boxing. When those legs start to go, that's the downwards. That's when you're going to start. You're going to start losing. You're going to start losing your concentration. Oh, I could be wrong. Well, well, let's just get a second wing. Whiplash has that super, that supernatural ability almost just to keep going. Got him locked in a tree of woe. A chair to the face. And another chair to the face. Black, blue, pink. I think after this. That's exactly the colours he's going to be. We might see nothing but red. Oh! A sick hesitation drop kick right to the chairs. That's it, Billy. It's a, it's a knockout. Surely it's a knockout. Thomas Cairns. Thomas Cairns has got to call this now. He's got to make a split decision. The BT gun, for whatever reason, wants to kill Mikey Whiplash, and you will see there, Joe. You know, I don't, I don't like using this terminology in wrestling. I don't like the words kill. I don't like die or death or whatever. Well, I do, I do agree with that point. I think BT Gun wants to be the one that makes Whippy, Mikey Whiplash breathe his last breath. Wow. Well, what's he going for here? Is that? I can't see. Oh no. Is he trying to go for a power bomb? Whiplash. Oh! Ah! You said it, Joe. They are hard. They are heavy and every ounce of that man's weight just came down and it spine first. It's got to be over. No! Seems to have some type of pouch or... What does he have, Billy? I, I can't see that. Is it? Is it maybe just to wipe the sweat off himself or... Oh, oh Joe. What is it? Oh, Joe, it can be good. Clint Lash is looking at it. Is that a, oh, no. Thumbtacks. Oh, look at... Look at the size of the points on those thumbtacks. 
extra large, Joe. That may be the sharpest thumbtacks I've ever seen in my life. Someone's about to get some extreme acupuncture, courtesy of Dr. Whiplash. Oh no. Throwing him off the ring. Kick it right to the gut. Big forearm again. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh! Face first into those thumbtacks. The very thumbtacks he brought into the ring. You can see them sticking into the torso. Oh! Oh no! Back first onto them. It's over! And that is the ladders that the NEK were talking about. Certainly. Under the ring. A symbol as well that they're using these ladders. They want to climb to the top. They don't want it to be those three letters ICW, ICW on the market. No, they they want not. it to be NAK, New Age Click, and it's New Age Click to death. And that is maybe what's going to happen here to BT Gun. It's a stairway to pain, that ladder, ladies and gentlemen. BT Gun measuring. Looks like he's going for an Alcifat kick. Picked his absolute moat. Picked his mark there. I actually see blood now on the face of Mikey Whitlash. One, two. Nope. Something has got to give with all those super kicks, Billy. Something's got to give, whether it's the scuff of, the, of his ring boots or his kick pads, or even if it's just plain opened them up, something had to give. It could be a cheap bone fracture. What's Peter Gunn doing with it? Oh, look at that, he's actually trapping Whiplash with those heavy steps. I can't imagine there's any strength there. And Mikey Whiplash standing on his head on one side, almost like a guillotine. It's a good plant. Whiplash is absolutely trapped. His legs are the only thing I can see hanging out. Give that a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra height. Exhaustion, exhaustion now. This is going. It's actually told. Oh no. Exhaustion now, going through the body of BT Gutton. A referee, Thomas Cairns, is actually holding it. Oh my God. Oh no. Whiplash has him marked up for the zombie maker. I can't watch this, Billy. All the way up there! It's called the Zombie Maker because PT Gun has joined the undead! It's over! So, as I say, ICW wanted it done, dusted, finished. But call it call it pride, call it vanity, call it wrath. We just couldn't let it go. We weren't prepared to leave it there. And that's where, that's where ICW finally washed its hands of myself and BT gone. They give us one more, one more opportunity to for lack of a barrel term, put the final nail in the coffee. That was the necromancer and the oddity. But we had to sign away pretty much our lives to get that match. Mr. Whitwash, if you could just. Thanks. I'm not making any eye contact. No, any movement. Yes, that would be that would be silly. That would be career suicide at this point in time. I know it sounds good, but now all I want here is a signature from both parties. Now we agreed to this, didn't we? We said that's what we're gonna do. We don't want any trouble. We just want to get this signed so that we can have our match and I don't get sued. Okay? Everyone understand? Understand? Yep, okay. This feels like a pound of first storm, Billy. This is eerie. Just print. Just, there's a wee signature there. Print your name there. And I'm just gonna get the date here. It's uh, say 25th? 25th? Right. I've called the matches between these men and this, this is very, my, my, yeah, my imagination is making me feel uncomfortable. And you know something, I just... I can't actually believe this is even happening. BT Gun, 
withdrawn, not making eye contact within himself. Mikey Whitlash shaking his head, angry, wanting to break through. And then it is, it's signed, it's legal, it's happening, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. I've got what I want. Now who used to can do whatever the fuck you want and I won't get sued. Thank you. What? What I need you to understand is whatever happens tomorrow night is on your head. You see, people have seen They've seen in this building what I'll do to Jack Jester. And that was two guys just trying to prove who the better person was. Each and every single person here has seen what I'll do to Grado. And that was just business. You, you made it personal. So whatever I've done in the past, Whatever we've done in the past, that's nothing compared to what I'm prepared to do tomorrow night. You see, these people... These people are expecting us to turn up for a wrestling match. That's not going to be the case. When I turn up tomorrow night, it's going to be a fight. There's a reason why, why I'm looking the way that I look today. See, for most people, you only know me as the man in the paint. Generally, when I stand in front of a camera, I'll have my paint on, I'll be dressed, and I'll be spouting profanities. But today, today I wanted you people to see my face. I wanted you to see the cuts, the marks, and the scars etched within my skin. For all those cuts and scars, there is one that stands out more than most. This one right here. See, I've never had a problem with scars. They're no different than the tattoos on my body. They're stories. But this one, this is a story, it never feels like it's ended. See, I was left lying in a pool of my own blood, hanging half dead over some steel steps. And that match, that match that I still be wanted to end everything with, it just didn't happen. Well, I've been calling these matches between these two, these battles. Listen to the ovation for Mikey Whiplash. He has his fans here. They call themselves the Nightbreed. He is the Necromancer. Look at the shape behind you. Like Mikey Whiplash is ready for BT Gun. Yeah, Lamar Chan's box is open. King of the Cenobites. He is not here tonight with the Sumerian Death Squad, his brothers in Legion, Tommy and Michael Dante. But he told me they didn't want them here tonight. This is just so personal. We have no idea, still no real idea, why these two forces have magnetized towards each other. The poison threats of rain, free, tea, God. Very well, Stevie boy, dressed exactly like BT Gun with his trademark entrance, but that is BT Gun. 
Mikey Whitlash sent right to the outside, getting in that first hit. Oh my God. You talk about sending a message. Oh, definitely. These two forces of anti-nature. Oh, look at that, an open. Right across the Who's that? That's Jam O'Malley. That's Jam O'Malley. What the hell's he doing here? Well, you saw last night the NK cutting away the dreadlocks of Jam O'Malley. They certainly do. Dram's trademarks just wanted to get in that little hit. Whitlash just absolutely punishing. Jam O'Malley, a wrestler in his own right, ladies and gentlemen. But not in the talent of the BT gun, with the greatest of respect to Jam O'Malley. No, certainly not. Jam must be still trying to just pepper with punches. Oh, no, oh, oh no. God, I didn't even notice! He's got himself pierced! Oh, he my flies. God! The demon flies, ladies and gentlemen! The demon flies! There's ring steps still in the ring. Ominously perished in the ring. Whiplash brought them into the ring. Oh, what's he got? He's got that, that blade. We saw that in Mikey Whiplash. He's like, what is that? Some type of a blade or... Is that a straight razor? Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! no! No, no, no. Oh, look at that carving away on the flesh! Oh, good Lord! That's a scar summoned for life. Is he almost offering up a blood sacrifice to the NEK? Oh, Look at oh, that. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. Oh. And that's a he lot, ladies and gentlemen. An no, he could have nicked an artery. You saw that spray of blood, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, red lightning, and he was quick to get out of the ring. We are weighed from all responsibility. This is a two man purge. It could very well be. Anything that can happen from bell to bell. Oh, God. It looks like he's going for a power bomb. Is he going to power bomb him? Oh no! That's ah. it. That's it. Just pin him. Just pin him. End this, BT. End it. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, BT Gun. Mercifully, it's over. And we we need help from. Right, we're getting the signal here. We're going to try and get some help out as quick as we can. Please, can we get help out here right now, please? I don't even know if Thomas Cairns would have been willing to. Yeah. I'm not called that. For everything that came before this moment, all the violence, all the blood, this is where things truly escalated. This is where, this is where we realized that to truly win the war, we need an army. So BT Gunn, he went away and got his brothers in the NAK, and I called upon my brothers, Legion. And Escalate it did. In Edinburgh. First off, we struck the first blow. In the second, third, fourth, and fifth. We took kendo sticks to BT gun. We stripped flesh from bone. And then in return, the NAK, they took me, they held me down, and they beat me over and over. Not once, not twice, not even five times, but 10. This is where, this is where I truly realized how dark this was going to get. After most incidents like that, an average man would be dead. An average entity would be no more. And in their own little way, the NAK, they were right to celebrate my demise. But if this, um, this little production has shown one thing, I'm no average man, I'm no entity. I'm the necromancer and I'll go above and beyond when it comes to retribution. You can't be going in the pool. Celebrates. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Stop it. To you.
Stop it! Happy birthday! Is it, it's coming from the. I think you think it's coming from the. Is it coming from the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it Adele? What's in the box? What's in the box? You. Oh, there's someone in there. Is it's, that? That's not Whiplash. That's not Mikey Whiplash. It looks like Whiplash. That's Jack Skellington. Who the fuck is that it's fat like cunt? It's like a mini whippy. It's like a what? Oh! Wow! Oh my! Wow! Oh! Mikey Whiplash has turned up dressed to kill. And it looks like he might be getting ready to kill the NEK's party. Finally, it's a party. Somebody made the effort. Whoa! Swinging the Singapore cane around. Who's this? Look at that whiplash standing tall, and me, I see, looking fucking delicious in that. Kelly Ray. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we've seen this, Billy. We've seen this. No! He's not just getting ready to kill the atmosphere. He looks like he's getting ready to kill the new age clip. The market. Liverpool. London, Edinburgh, Glasgow. We went all over the British Isles. But we had to go one more time. One more time in London. And this time, I was prepared. This time, I may have actually gone too far in some people's eyes. But for me, this is my last opportunity to make sure at the SCCC that the oddity and the NAK, they came in and knew exactly who and what they were facing. It goes beyond that, Billy. I'd say it transcends what two human oh. beings can physically do to one another. Look at these forearms early on in the contest, wee man. I would categorise a few of these men's exchanges as human rights atrocities. Well, yes. Oh, headbutt. But it is all about the most amount of damage. Legion, and of course, the New Age Clank shall meet when hell on earth, the cage match at the SECC. Oh, look at that. Looks at that kick. Is it time? Oh, no. Trying to go for that clothesline. Slingshot from the middle of the rope. Oh, big Irish whip there. Oh, this quick feet of PT Gun. Oh, Moonsault misses. These two men know each other, know their destructive capabilities. Oh, PT Gun. Oh, look! The Virgin Suicides! That's one! That's two! I think Webblast saw his own blood, putting his own body on the line. Wow! He choked him on that middle rope, wee man. Dropped him with a clothesline right across the throat. Like he collapsed the windpipe of Mikey Webblast. It's like I see, it's just not about winning a wrestling match, it's about trying to kill. Oh, look at that! He's got him! He's got him with the Austin lullabies. This can separate a shoulder, top the neck, cut off the flow of oxygen to the brain. BT Gun might be able to go out. He might pass out from sheer pain. Oh, look at that. Just, he just punched Thomas Cairns. BT Gun was ready for this, though. These two men. Oh, look at this. Oh my God, is Mikey Whitlash smiling? I think, I think I saw a flash of... What's he? Whiplash is openly offering himself. Oh! 
and Kane is his companion, ladies and gentlemen. That's why that man there uses it. Holy crap, look at that. BT gun. What the fuck? What is this become, Billy? This started out as a match? A one and two hell? two men? Ah! It's tip for tap. They're now inviting each other to smack them across. Oh, I don't that. understand what I'm watching, Billy. Whitlash took a chair, sorry, took a candlestick stick in the head and the hands of his legion coming. And he wants it in the head! Oh, God! And he's, he's still standing! That could cause a concussion, that could shatter a skull, internal bleeding! There's probably some idiot sitting at home going, yeah, well, those are props! Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! I've been having the candlestick, stick and I'm never looking for it to happen again! Like I said, Billy, these are not special effects. Oh! What is he doing? I'm not satisfied with dismantling a human being. He now seems to be dismantling the show itself. He just screamed at one of our ring guys to... He just screamed at one of his ring guys. Look at that. What the hell is he doing? What the hell is he doing? Last time these two wrestled, that rope came on tight. Oh, he's gone! He's got him again! No, no, no! Oh! He's gonna hang him! He's gonna hang him! He's gonna choke him to death! Using the metal rope, we don't know what BT gun had planned! Perhaps use that metal buckle as a weapon! But it has backfired! He now actually has that rope tied around the neck, he is hanging! This, we man, this is got. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank here goodness. is your winner, Mikey Riplash! BT Gun tapped out by... I Look think that was more a cry for help! I think he tapped out to just assure himself that he would actually survive this. You just have to get him off him! No! BT Gun, all the colours gone from BT Gun's face. All the colours gone from BT Gun's face. Someone has to stop this, Billy, I mean... I've not been a fan of BT Gun in the... I've said on many occasions that I'm an honest man and I'd be a hypocrite if I didn't turn around and say going into that cage there wasn't the tiniest little bit of fear in the back of my mind. See even now the hair on my arms it goes up when I think about that night because that was the last real time we truly saw the oddity BT gun. You know, I always say tonight is a night of main events, but William Bess has a big match feel. And there we are, the Sultan of Silent Hill, the Crown Prince of Chaos, and the Regulator. Family. You said this in a big match, Bill. This has got the feel of a war. Here they come. The malignant spirits. Illuminati Assassin, Tommy End, The Necromancer, Mikey Whiplash. And the Mastodon, Michael Dante. Oh, and we're off. Oh God, look at this. How could he imagine it would start any other way? <laughs> Professor flying. Well, I'll tell you what, if you're a fan of technical wrestling, look away now. You're not going to see a headlock, you're not going to see an arm drag. You're going to see six men trying to eliminate each other. Tag team partners at a disadvantage. I thought Mikey Whiplash, I thought he was telling the other members of Legion to escape the cage, but no. Big Wolf guy, the regulator. The big dog is now there, so now it's two on three. 
saw that sadistic smile go across the face. They're going over the top of the cage. They're going over the top of the cage. Goes round through this, but BT Gunners in. It's like I've told you of all six of these competitors. BT Gun has the bloodlust of the most. And Chris Renfrew is shouting at BT Gun. Renfrew is imploring BT Gun to climb over the cage. I, I don't even think he sees Whitlash. Wow! Whitlash is almost out. Whitlash, oh good. Whitlash has just got BT a drop. has gone by the hair. Look at those headbutts. It's when BT Gun goes to that other place. That blood. What the hell? He has the bloodlust. Oh, he's compelled. God. Jesus, no. What's he going for? He's going for a super flex, I think. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been a wrestling fan since I was three years old. Oh, this is uncomfortable. I never thought I'd see this. Oof. They're in a precarious position in front no, no, of us. No, 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 no. I don't think what happens, this is two men on a tightrope. This is the difference between life and death. Oh my god. We need help. We need help. We need everyone. We need. Look at that wolf guy just dragging everyone out of the way. I think. It's over. The match is over. Either way, this match is done. I think I speak for everyone when I say enough is enough. Look at that whiplash pushing these two. The way he wants to walk out on his own speed. What's he doing? Oh. What's he doing? What's he... Demanding the microphone. What's he doing? Screaming. Even his partners are trying to pull him to stop. Screaming as between me and him. I'm, I'm I don't know if you noticed, but I'm still breathing. I've just been given work. This has been ruled a no contest. This has been ruled a no contest. I said a long time ago, I don't fear death. I just need to find a man worthy enough to kill me. We started this. Let's finish it. What? BT Gun! What? If you're half the man I think you are, kill me! What the hell? It's just some bizarre death pact. When the Sumerian death squad are the voice of reason, you know things have went too far. Look at that BT gun hit Chris Renfrew. He actually hit Chris Renfrew. The Sumerian death squad they're at ringside. They're shouting at Whitlash. They're going, they're, don't do this. Oh my God, is this going to continue? Rich, I think we've got a silver match! What? We're hearing Mick Foley's just made the announcement. Oh my goodness! And if there's a man that knows hardcore brutality... Oh! If there's a man that knows hardcore brutality, it's BT Gun who's going to win this! He gone! He gone with a bloodline! The last 
time we ever saw the oddity BT gun. Those are my words. See, that's the truth. Again, the truth teller, the light bringer. I spent eight months of my life fighting, clawing, trying to survive. And you, you walk away from that, you walk away from that and you cut become a fucking parody, a fucking parody of the man that tried to put me in my grave. See, you walk around with Teenage Mutant Ninja fucking turtle pants on and act like an overgrown child with a fucking toy belt. What happened to the man that took a blade to my forehead and carved me open? What happened to the man in Liverpool that put me through a barrier? I had staple after staple after staple put into my back, pulling that skin back together because the fucking stitches wouldn't hold. What happened to the man who took a kendo stick to my flesh and tore it off the fucking bone? I'll tell you what happened. People stopped pushing him. People stopped trying to make him stand up and go further and harder than he did the night before. BT gone. This isn't the same as last time. I am now not the man who was clawing and scratching to be the one staying out of that grave. If the oddity does not turn up at the barrows, you will be the one resting six feet under.